there. It was pretty simple last time. It was pretty much all like the bullet time battles or whatever the like normal things called. This time I'm obviously gonna have to do all the other stuff. Probably like a bunch of hangmans. Wonderful Mahiru Kwezumi is in this room. Did you have mushrooms on you before? Impossible! Impossible! That's so impossible! There's no way I can believe that! Oh, I can't do anything. How annoying. But I'm just gonna believe in everyone. That's the least I can do. Everyone do your best. Don't lose to yourselves. And don't forget to save regularly. Okay, Monami. Well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Huh. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Sure hey, can. When you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hiyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Probably. Which means the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hiyoko fled from the beach house? That's what it sounds like. The killer returned to the scene of the crime after I left? Kazuachi was they there afterwards. They have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! I mean, did you check I the shower room? I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there! Hmm. Then, does that mean the killer came back? Hmm. I wonder, at any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. Okay. Not really. Logic dive. Control a version of yourself created from an image within your brain. The task is to reach the goal and the final destination of the synapse course. You can move sideways with the left step and you can accelerate with the RB button. The LB button to break and the RB button to jump. Okay. Answering questions. Answer split off into different paths, so please proceed down the path of the answer you think is correct. Okay. And then I make good use of the break. That's my medicine of advice for you. It's the start button, you'll see the controls. So I ran away from the beach house. When did the killer arrive in the from the beach house? Accelerate, B to break, Y to jump, move with left stick, and help us start. Did the killer right with the beach house? Before? Um... Let me 
makes sense to me. Okay, I think that means service, right? Leave the beach, beach house. Uh, if they drop the gummy, they ha it has to be after, right? Good. the killer hiding. Um, I guess the beach? I mean, they could have been like underwater or something. Nope. <laughs> but where would they be hiding if you even check the shower room? Here. That's basically what we we're saying you beforehand. Think the killer might have been hiding. You spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. How disappointing. I agree. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have yeah. to explain it in another language so you can understand? I'm confused. Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. I mean, her personality is always pretty forceful. No. There should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Yoko. Huh. Oh, what are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make Akane bop you on the head and shut you up for good! Is it the vending machine, maybe? <laughs> I mean, can they even fit in the vending machine? Probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? Okay. And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. But could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Hyoko knowing? That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. to arrange a hiding place in advance. That? Here! What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? But the shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf, and there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. Huh. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Because we haven't been on this island that long, so the closet shouldn't have been that messy, I think. Then, the killer was close to me during that time? Yeah. They were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. Creepy. It's kind of like, in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. Don't you mean, it's always darkest under the lighthouse? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. 
Anyway, the killer hid silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. Oh. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. True. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Saying whatever you want, even if we didn't ask. All right, if you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! <laughs> Boy, you're so aggressive oh, shut right up. now, Akane. Then, grit your teeth. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? Oh. I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. I'll listen to your story okay, about Monokuma. men from the future some other time. As I recall, the body discovery yes. announcement is made when I've been blowing up that the whole time. Discover a body, right? Is the killer also included? Among those three or more people? Yeah. Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. You don't sound very articulate. Jeez, you're pretty annoying for noticing something like that. I've been calling it up the whole time. I know it sounds that's like nice. an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. But this one can be used as deduction. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but... They played when Kazuachi found it. Depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, yeah, it should be three as long as I keep things ambiguous, time. I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. Really? Which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original huh. topic. You're the one who went on a tangent! Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? Yeah. And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However... Before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. Yeah, you been it's going to be blood. all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Where is she? Now. Let's start the argument, shall we? I guess. Truth flashback. Hold down the I don't know button. Change. You'll be able to memorize it. Only be fired once is a single truth bullet. I don't know how I'm gonna have to use this for this one, Kefa. The shooter changed to a different truth board, it will disappear from your truth cylinder. However, you can use this flashback feature as many times as you want. You don't seem to have the answer to a lie or a mistake in your available truth bullets. Hope your eyes memorize a different weak spot and use that to make a case. When is the best time to flashback? Well, you just have to trust your keen wheels, won't you? By the way, you will not be able to agree with anyone while you're using the truth flashback. Please remember that it's only effective when refuting points. Okay. Well then, good luck and have fun. Shower room. 
<laughs> it's just like, yeah, you gotta use the freaking thing. Um... Uh... So what do I gotta... What do I use to... Okay, gotta hold the Y. Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? Yeah. So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and floosh! Floosh. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet! Maybe it's the other way around? Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. Okay. They didn't have to use the shower. That's probably what it is. Oh, been what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and floosh! As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet! Maybe it's the other way around? Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Maybe they were able to wash it off. Someone other than the killer moved the body. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. No, that's wrong! Okay, that seems pretty simple. At least, first time they using that. They just needed to wash off the blood. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. And they could have bathroom. just as easily used something else. Something other than the shower. Like what? The toilet or the ocean? Oh, drinks inside the refrigerator. I see! Drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I haven't thought of that. I've seen through it. Huh? In theory, but that's impossible. Why? But why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. With parents, metal bat, trash can, shower room, iron bird window. Probably trash can, if I were to guess. It's true, there were drinks. In the beach house refrigerator. However, try thinking one bottle dripping wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down. We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. Allow me to cut through those words. There were water <coughs> bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. Anymore. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Yep. 
Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Uh -huh. Ah, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Uh, you should have said so sooner. Then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of a shower. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. What? It seems you've realized who the killer is. See, person would be just wet. as I thought. Hold on. You, oh, it's Pekka. You know who the killer is? Is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? She's been real weird this whole trial, so it makes sense. Must be that person. You're the only one! Heko, is it you? Hey, what are you being quiet for? They're accusing you of being the killer! <laughs> then I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? You were wet. I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house. And it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent. Say something. Hold on, you bastard. Yeah. You saw her at the diner. You never saw her near the beach house, right? So maybe she really was swimming. Why are you defending her? No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? After I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. Huh. So, so there's no doubt she would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? I didn't see anyone doing that time. You told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. Pekko is really... right? Not so fast! It's too soon to decide she's a killer! We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house! Now that you mention it, you're right! The roadside door was blocked! And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints... Then you leave through barred window then somehow. how the fuck did the killer escape? Apparently with you. Yeah. Um, why are you all fired up, Fuyuhiko? You're not the suspect. Pekko is. Yeah. Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! We might have an answer. His defensive nature shows that he's an accomplice. Do you really? This mystery seems unsolvable. Well, if Pekko is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. Pekko's girl E. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of the beach house. First, let's establish how the killer escaped. I mean, it has to be the window. If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, the only other thing I can think of is... Well, nothing really. Except that small window in the shower room. 
<laughs> Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it. B but what if, for instance, she got help from someone? She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. Oh. Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside! Of course not! That would violate the school trip rule! Littering is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see? There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. No, they just have to use an object. Huh? Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us! We just said they couldn't use an object! You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. I see! You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. Huh? Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! <laughs> uh. No! Please don't be violent! That was a saying, man. Oh, I don't even know what the answer is. Okay, why is this sudden dead? Let's start with B. I have no idea what this is. Oh, bamboo! Shoot. Sword? Sword. Oh. 
Need an O. Echo, you carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? If I recall correctly, you had it then too. Yep. Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. Are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. Echo used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A uh, sword as a step stool? You see? I knew it! I knew it was a ninja! Didn't I tell ya? A ninja could have climbed <laughs> that easily! Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. Whoa! Just like a Japanese ninja! Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist in Japan. Well, it is a bamboo sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Peko could easily use it to climb. Well, Peko, do you have anything to say? <laughs> <laughs> 